Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 0 Blind. On the last episode, we uh, continued on with uh, Hibiki's training. Uh, we did two in, uh, in Club Sunshine dates with her, you know, questions and answers. Uh, we did pretty good on both of them, I think. Uh, then we had a karaoke date where we got to hear a new song, Rouge of Love, uh, sung by Habiki. And then we sang 24 Hour Cinderella like normal, and we almost perfected it. We were so, so close. But uh, on this episode, uh, we're going to be finishing off our training because uh, I think she only has the, the customer service final left and then whatever her side quest is going to be about. I actually don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's not like all the other side quests have been normal. <laughs> they've, they've been pretty, I mean, Yuki's was an actual side quest where we had to follow her. I mean, we didn't follow her around. We just ended up going to the spot where she was and making sure that we didn't interrupt her date with her dad. Uh, for I, we just went to the, beat, the, the, the bridge and just stood there and that was it. And, uh... Saki's, we just had a fight outside of Club Sunshine's doors because she ran outside and ran into some people. So, Hibiki's gonna be literally anything, and I guess we'll find out. Let's find out. So, Hibiki. Let's take a look at what your customer service final is gonna be like. You're so low level compared to everyone else's when they did their final. All right, Ibiki chan, I think these conversations have put you in a good place. So let's make this the last time. Hi. Really? That makes me sad and happy at the same time. Thanks for doing this, Majima. Right on. Okay, let's do the regular customer thing. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. I'll do my best. Okay, then. Here we go. So this is the final talk. I feel like we've covered a lot of pretty good ground together. This about that debt you mentioned. Yeah, hey, you know what? We did the right thing last episode by not bringing it up then. Like, if she was gonna... I mean, technically we're bringing it up now, so... <laughs> Right, you mentioned it. But I figured you'd tell me when the time was right. See? Where's your mom at? Where's Ah, uh, that okay. Maybe I should have waited. Just maybe one more, one more thing of dialogue before I ask that. Not old enough. I see. So you took over the debt, and you're taking care of your brother on top of that. Hmm. Can I help? It's too much. You're amazing. Hmm. Hmm. What's the what's the way to go with this? Not B. Clearly not B. Uh so it's either It's either Y or X. And I wanna go with X? If she really needed I mean is he asking for help? Or does she just want us to like hear her out? Like she doesn't she doesn't want help help, she just wants someone else to get it. Let's hear her out first? I don't know. Don't you think you've bit off a bit more than you could chew? You ain't exactly the picture of health. Don't worry about you, Biki chan. Demo. I 
I'm still not sure if I was glad I didn't choose if I could help, because I guess he doesn't want help. Maybe so, but in some ways, you're an important part of my family, too. You let me know the second your burden gets too heavy. If there's anything I can do, I'll do it. You can't shoulder that all by yourself. See, she didn't want pity, she wanted she wanted reassurance. And we'll give her that option so that she's the one that gets to choose when. If she needs help or not. How's your mom doing? Your bro is proud too. You're lucky. I'm, it's weird that it's only two. Your bro is proud too? To what? Their mom or her? It's weird. I'm very proud to be your daughter. Your bro is proud too. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. You're lucky. Ooh. You're lucky? I don't like X, but B doesn't sound good either. Neither of these sound gro ne neither of these make any sense. Uh Do I have a coin? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a coin? I have a coin I have a coin app on my phone. Uh heads is left, tails is right. Flip a coin. And it's tails. Alright, you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky, Biki Chan. You got a great mom. <laughs> That was not the response I was thinking. I, I was under the impression if we said we're lucky, she was lucky, we'd be like, oh, yeah, except for your dad. <laughs> except for your dad. <laughs> eh, happy to hear it. I'm sure you and your little brother can work together and make it through this. <laughs> Although looking back, maybe if we would have said like her brother's proud too, not only it was, it was weird the way it was put in the text for like a thing to pick but also we just had to like reassure her a couple a couple of dates ago that her brother won't resent her for what she's doing so maybe let's not put more doubt in her mind it's like does he think of anything proud maybe we chose good seems like we chose good so you got any dreams or goals for the future so I know huh. yeah like you want to get married? Uh, oh, no, no, not me. You know, Majima, she didn't seem that against it. <laughs> <laughs> a guy with a big heart don't get married me uh well I mean like I said she didn't seem all she didn't seem 100% against what we said when we said I get married I mean she she immediately jumped to the fact that she thought we were proposing right there uh, it's not Y. It's probably not B. It's definitely X. <laughs> I think a guy with a big heart would be good. You consider your brother. You need someone who can accept everything about you. Uh, 
マジマくんなんかぴったりかもしれないね<笑> Maybe I am. Hmm. Do you want to get hitched? Ma, what can you say? Maybe we would have won some points if we would have said our name. Urged us. Alright, I think that's a wrap. Thanks for sticking with this so long, Hibiki chan. Hmm. It was really fun. And. マジマくんと話していて、改めてこの仕事に誇りを持てるようになったよ。え、proud。うん。借金を返すために泣く泣く始めた感じだったから、正直今まであまりこの仕事に誇りも愛着もなかったんだ。私。I'm sure Mizumura didn't help。でもマジマくんの情熱や。お店への愛に触れるうちに、私もどんどんこのお仕事が好きになってきたみたい。昔は隠したりしてたけど、今なら胸を張って、私はキャバクラで働いてるって言えるよ。Hey, free advertising. Biki Chan, I appreciate it. Thank you. Wait, was she the one that had like the weird? Was she the one that had like the weird? Uh... Cat thing, or was that someone else? Why else would they bring it up? Why else would they bring it up? I don't remember. I'm just gonna go with thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm a lucky man to have a girl say that at our club. Plus, I mean, I say, saying I appreciate it, you know, with the cat pun, be like, oh, well, thank me, I guess. Uh, this gives her some credit. I'm a lucky man to have a girl say that at our club. Bar got full. That's all, I'm, all I care. <laughs> all right. Maybe let's not go too fast because we do have the side story that this will lead into. Conversation had a nice ebb and flow to it, and I was really enjoying myself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun time for me too, and I learned something. Thank you, Majima Kun. Heart. No prob. You keep at it. Hi. Yeah, you can depend on me. Thanks for everything. Now I'm curious to find out what her side story is going to be about. By the way, Ibiki chan, did you ever tell Yuta kun you worked here?、Mm. Oh, yes. He knows where the club is. That way he can come find me in an emergency. Smart girl. Already putting plans in place if something were to go down. Can't be easy raising a little kid.、Mm. Well, he doesn't have it much easier than I do. He must get lonely before he falls asleep at night. Yeah, it is still morning outside. Hmm. Yeah, I can only imagine how lonely. Heck, scary even. Must be to come home alone at age seven. Was this age ever mentioned? I should get going. It's been a pleasure as always, Majima Kun. Sure thing. Good job today, Hibiki chan. That's that. I need some fresh air and a smoke. I bet we're gonna meet her brother. It makes the most sense. Oh, yep, see? <laughs> hey, are you the little kid from Pocket Circuit? I was making fun of Pocket Circuit Fighter? Huh? What's with this little kid? Really, Majima, you don't remember what you just talked about? Hey, little dude. Brings you here so late. You need something from the club?、Uh, yikes.、Uh, uh, um. Who are you? Name's Manjima. Don't let the face fool you. I'm the manager of this fun house. Manjima san. The manager. That's my name, kid. Don't wear it out. Um. You have to let me work here. 
Oh, sure, kid. Just fill out an application. Wait, what? <laughs> I like. I thought Majima was just joking with him for a moment. But no, he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. What's wrong, Majima-san? Why are you shouting? Oh. Hi there, little cutie. Don't tell me. You kidnapped this little boy? Why was that the first thing you jumped to? What? Yuki, why would I... Uh, listen, little dude. Let's finish this chat somewhere else. Mm. Uh, sure. Yuki-chan, you have the helm. Mm? What? <laughs> Just gonna kidnap this kid, please. Oh, we're having the man-to-man -man talk. Majima still doesn't know who this kid is, too. So, kid, tell me about why you want to work at my club. I hope he finds out within, like, the next three text boxes, please. Because I want to help. Help? Help who? My big sister. Your big sister, huh? Thank God. Okay, it maybe took him five text boxes to get to this point, but whatever. Are you maybe Yudakun? Mm -hmm. Huh? I am, actually. How'd you know? I've heard a lot about you from Mabiki chan, actually. Oh, really? My big sis is talking about me. That's so cool. <laughs> You'd be amazed. You're all she talks about. So what's all this about working at the club, then? Let me guess. You're lonely at home by yourself? You figure if you worked at the club, you could hang out with your big sis? That might be part of it. I feel like he also wants to, like, help with the debt. You know, since Hibiki's working... If he, he I bet he figures if he helps her with the debt, she won't have to work as hard, and so she can be more healthy. Um, I am lonely. But that's not why I want to work. I want to help my sister. You want to help her? Mm. Yeah. I know she's working really hard lately. I think she's doing it for me. But I'm afraid that if she keeps doing this, then she'll get sick like Mom did. That's why I want to work. If I can help out even a little bit, Hibiki won't have to work so hard. Then she won't get sick. So Majima-san, please, please let me work at your club. <sighs> Pretty sure there's a law or six against that. I can't, okay. We have a choice. I feel like I can't say the top one. I'm not heartless. I know, I played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, I'll watch over your, he, he, maybe he just wants some reassurance. You know, if there's someone else that's watching out for a sister, he could probably be like, all right, well, I can still be a kid at seven instead of having a part full-time job. <laughs> uh, we'll just go with this one. Ain't no need for you to do that, Yudakun. I'll watch over your sister and make sure she doesn't overwork herself. I am the one that makes the schedule. Really? Then Habiki won't get sick like mom did. No way. I won't ever let Habiki get sick from working too much. That's a promise. Yudakun, you're still a kid. Parents gotta worry about their kids, but kids shouldn't be worrying about their parents. Or their grown-up sisters, for that matter. You do what you're supposed to do as a kid. Study hard, make lots of friends, and horse around. That's what Ibiki Chun wants for you, too. Do you think so? I'm sure of it. Then one day you'll be a man. And that's when you'll know it's time to step up to the plate. You make sure you help your sister out when that day comes. Mm. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna become a man fast. Uh, well, hold, hold. No, no, no. Enjoy your childhood, please. And then I'll be able to help Mom and Hibiki lots. <laughs> that's the spirit. That'll make them both real happy. Both Hibiki and your mom love you, Yudakun. That's why they're working so hard, day in and day out. I want to make sure you got opportunities. Well, maybe not your mom, but your you, but Ibiki definitely. <laughs> you really think so? Yep, that's how it is, little dude. So you leave it to me. 
I'll make sure Hibiki doesn't overwork herself. And that's a promise for me to you, all right? Man to man. Man to man. <laughs> Majima-san, you're so cool. <laughs> Don't I know it. All right. I got to head back to the club before Yuki-chan burns it down. You take care, Yudakun. I'll just leave you alone in this town. Uh. Yep. Thank you, Majima-san. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a good little kid. Caring about a sister like that. Not every kid's like that at his... At his eh, not every kid's like that at his age. What were you doing? What were you doing there? That's so out of place. What? You heard all that? <laughs> Guess he caught me. <laughs> Yudakun's a good little soul. Mm. You're right. He may not listen to a word I say, but he cares about me in his own way. Seeing him with you made me realize he's growing up in ways I never expected. I couldn't help crying. It made me so happy. He's still seven! You love him like a mother would. You're a good pair, you two. Brother and a sister who really care about each other. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have to work a lot harder for you to... No! Don't you dare. You're working hard for him already. And if you got sick, I'd be breaking my promise. <sighs> yes, I know. But it'll be okay because you're going to watch over me from now on. Right? Uh. You betcha. Hey, that's, that's a Minnesotan thing. You betcha. Of course, promises or not, I'd always meant to keep you safe, Biki chan hmm? Huh? What do you mean? Uh -huh. What do you mean, what do I mean? I'm the manager here. Well, not at the park. It's my job to keep you girls safe. That's just how it's done. <sighs> oh. I wish you'd protect me even if I wasn't a girl on the roster at the club. What'd you say? You're muttering to yourself there. Ma Majima, she does this a lot, apparently. <laughs> it's nothing at all, meow. Let's go back to the club, Majima-kun. You're a mystery for the ages, Abiki-chan. I'm gonna give Kiryu credit, because he's thick-headed as well, but at least he's 20. <laughs> Ooh, 30 Majima sub-stories done. Nice, and that's all of the special trainings I can currently do. So, hooray! What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple of runs off screen just to get Venus up to five thousand fans, and everywhere else up to fifteen thousand fans. So once that's done, then next episode we can just immediately hop into taking down Club Venus. Oh, look at my fans! Four twenty sixty nine, yeah! <laughs> We win. That's that's just that's just it. We win. The, the series is over. No more no more yakas after this. <laughs> yeah, because that's at that's at fifteen thousand. That's at twelve thousand. That's at eleven thousand. So we'll probably do a couple of runs in here just to boost these up. But then we'll definitely boost this one up to five thousand so we can just do the recon and then get the uh, meet the girl and then maybe get the will we get the uh, the challenge immediately after that. We should be good for it, I assume. We're gonna be bringing all of our all of our uh, platinum hostesses to it. Two of which are maxed out. I wish I could take a look at my girls here. I also have a couple of golds that are maxed out now. All right. So on the next episode of Yakuza Zero Blind. Uh, we'll be doing some recon on Club Venus. Find out who the the host of Club Venus is, the hostess that we're going to be potentially pilfering from them. And, uh, as long as we stay away from that corner of the, of the, of the town and not actually start the story quest. The story quest, the, we're going to see this pop up a while because this is, this is the, uh, this is the Majima time for him to build up all of his stuff. So, 
we'll probably be here for a while. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.